Hi, Joe DiStefano here with Flavors of New York in the world's borough, Queens. Today we visit Cuba at Rincon Criollo, a restaurant that has its roots in Havana, Cuba, but is right here in Queens. We are here in the beautiful dining room of Rincon Criollo with Esther Acosta. Hello. <laughs> So Esther, I've been to this restaurant a couple of times. I don't know, tell me the story of it. So my grandfather opened in Cuba in 1952. Uh, unfortunately, when Castro um, came in, uh, he took that away from him. Uh, but his brothers came here to the United States and in 1976, we opened here. Um, and in 2011, me and my brothers took it over. Uh, and 2015, we opened in Long Island. So. Okay, so this is a Cuban restaurant and I have had the pleasure of having the Cubano, uh, which I think is marvelous. Uh, but what other things are you guys famous for? Definitely the Ropa Vieja. Ropa Vieja is the shredded flank steak that's simmered in tomato sauce with onions and peppers. That's a number one dish. Um, also, Rao Encendio, which is the oxtail stew, falls right off that bone. So those are two very popular dishes. Mm -hmm. What sort of people come here? Honestly, we get a mix. Um, we're a staple in the community, to be honest with you. I have so many people that are just community people that are around the area that come all the time. But we also get people from Connecticut. We get people from Brooklyn, from Bronx, from different places. Um, even people coming from LaGuardia Airport. Uh, they saw us in diners, diamonds, and drives, so it's like, ooh, I have to go check it out. This is just toast, but it's like really special to me. It's Tell me about it. I mean, it's just bread and butter, um, but it's the first thing you have when you're having your Cuban meal. If you go to Casa Abuela, your grandmother's house, you're gonna have the bread and the butter. So it's like the start to your journey. So, I have had the Cuban sandwich, but I understand this is a top secret pan con croqueta sandwich. Tell me about this, Esther. So pan con croqueta is ham, cheese, and some croquetas on Cuban bread. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this is about. And the croquetas have ham in them, yes? Yes, ham croquetas. Oh boy, ham and ham. <laughs> Lots of ham. That's really good. Is it, there, there's a little garlic in the croquettes, yes? Yes. There's sofrito in there, too. Mm-hmm. That is really, really special. Um, how do people find out about this secret sandwich? Ah, you got to ask. <laughs> it's one of those that's not on the menu. <laughs> Who invented it? My great uncle. Um, it's very popular in Miami. So if you go to any Miami bakery, you're gonna find it. So my great uncle said, you know what, why don't we just make it here? We just, you know, do it our version of it. So they do it a little bit different in Miami. Really? Okay, mira esta ropa vieja. Tell me about the ropa vieja. So ropa vieja is shredded flank steak that's simmered in tomato sauce with onions and peppers. Ropa vieja actually means old clothes. <laughs> Nice. So what do we do? We take a little rice, some black yes, beans, some, some rapa vieja. I get some white rice in there. Oh, it looks so tender. Hmm. Mm, smells great. Oh wow! I can see why this is so popular. Mm -hmm. So again, pep peppers and onions, shredded flank steak. Tomato. Yeah, so the, the secret ingredient is ketchup. We add a little ketchup to give it a little sweetness. How long does it cook for? So we cook it in the pressure cooker, um, mm -hmm. and then we cook it in the pot probably about four hours. Do you know, traditionally, is it always cooked in a pressure cooker? Um, I think so. I think so, because that's the only way of getting, because remember, you're getting that flank steak that's nice and hard. So you have to get that to soften up and then shred it. So the best bet would obviously be you cook it in the pressure cooker, you take it out, then you shred it, then, then you, you cook it, cook it more. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. There's some other seasoning that I can't really pick out. 
a little bit of everything there. So as far as um, we have bay leaf, brown bay leaf, we have oregano, we have white pepper, we have cumin. Uh, so you're gonna get you know those spices in there. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit sabor de pollo, which is uh, chicken. The um, chicken, what's it called? Chicken Bully? sabor de pollo. Yeah. Ah. I'm like, how do you say that in English? <laughs> sabor de pollo. That's very good. First thing that struck me when I visited here a couple of months ago, other than how good the Cuban sandwich was, was all these signs around the room representing every country. You know, we're here in Corona, which is kind of like the epicenter of Latin American queens. So, Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, Bolivia, all the way around to this. That's, wow, Cuba's very big. <laughs> Who made these signs? <laughs> my great uncle's son, which would be my uncle. Um, he made it for shop class. And um, he just, you know, he did all the designs and he got bumper stickers and they laminated it, which was like a big thing in the 70s and 80s. Do Peruvian people come here? Oh yeah, definitely. We have a mix, as I said, of everything. We have Colombian, we have Salvadorian, Peruvian, anything, I mean, every culture. I mean, we have Asian, they love the oxtails. That's like their favorite. You know, we have, uh, you know, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. Everything. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, <clears throat> thank you so much for uh, letting me and uh, Flavors of New York enjoy the flavors of Cuba right here in Corona, Queens. Thank you. Come back anytime.